Brand equity refers to the intangible value and worth that a brand possesses in the marketplace. It represents the accumulated goodwill, reputation, and perception associated with a particular brand among consumers. Now, brand equity is a result of various factors, and they include the brand's identity, the image, the customer perceptions, and the overall brand experience. And there are several key components that contribute to brand equity. So we're gonna name five of them. The first is brand awareness. And this is the degree to which a brand is actually recognized and remembered by the consumers. It includes both brand recognition, which is the ability to identify the brand when it's encountered, and brand recall, which is the ability to remember the brand when prompted. Second, we have the brand associations. These are the mental and emotional connections consumers make with a brand. And these associations can include attributes, features, benefits, emotions, and values that consumers associate with the brand. Positive brand associations contribute to a higher brand equity while negative associations will tear you to pieces. <laughs> Third is the perceived quality, which is the customer's perception of the overall quality and superiority of a brand's products or services when compared to the competitors. Brands that are consistently associated with high quality tend to have a stronger brand equity. Fourth is brand loyalty. And this is the degree to which customers are committed and loyal to a brand. Loyal customers are far more likely to repurchase, recommend the brand to others, and resist switching to competitors. So repeat purchase behavior and brand advocacy contribute to that brand equity. And fifth and finally, we have brand differentiation. And this is the ability of a brand to stand out and differentiate itself from competitors. Unique selling propositions, positioning, and a clear brand identity contribute to the distinctiveness of the brand and its perceived value. Now, building brand equity requires consistent and strategic efforts to enhance these components. And successful brand initiatives, marketing campaigns, customer experiences, and delivering on brand promises, these all contribute to strengthening the brand equity over time. And strong brand equity can lead to increased customer loyalty, higher market share, premium pricing, and absolutely a competitive advantage in the marketplace. So for an example of good brand equity, we have Apple, which built an exceptional brand equity by consistently delivering innovative and high quality products. Their brand is associated with sleek design, cutting edge technology, and an absolutely you know, premium user experience. And Apple customers, they're loyal enthusiasts and they eagerly await new product releases and they proudly display the Apple logo on everything, their cars and whatnot. But alternatively, in 2017, United Airlines faced severe backlash when a video of a passenger came out. They were being forcibly dragged off an overbooked flight and it went viral. And the incident resulted in just an absolute public relations disaster, which damaged United Airlines brand equity, and it raised concerns about their customer service and how they treat their passengers. And so that was no bueno. So what's your strategy right now to manage your brand equity? Do you have a plan or strategy? Do you have a finger on the pulse of how your customers are feeling right now? And is it wise to simply guess at all this or leave it to chance when you've invested so much time, money, and effort into your business or are about to? So brand equity can make or break you, which is why I say you got two choices in today's market, brand or die.